Goshen News Network. I am Angel Minkaus here with your daily news. The quarter has ended this Friday, so we're heading into the second one. Congratulations to the boys cross country team for making it second place at the Williamsburg meet on Saturday. Winning medals on the boys team were Grant Wintercorn, Chad Jarvis, Nick Bennett, and Paris Schaefer. Winning medals on the girls team were Aaron Ashley and Jessica Benson. This has been Angel with the Goshen News Network. Hey everybody, Elizabeth Shore here with the weather for today. Today is going to be sunny with a high of 75 and a low of 56. Saturday is going to be sunny with a high of 80 and a low of 63. Sunday is going to be cloudy with a high of 79 and a low of 50. Monday is going to be sunny with a high of 63 and a low of 44. And that's all for the weather for the day, throwing it to Angel with the sports. Hello Goshen News Network, I'm Angel Minkhouse here with your sports. On October 14th on Saturday, there will be a varsity cross-country team at Western Brown. The time is to be announced. On the same day, there will be a PTO Father and Son Olympics from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. This has been Angel Minkaus here with your sports. Moving on to college football, the Cincinnati Bearcats are now 2-4 after a 51-21 defeat courtesy of the UCF Knights in a rain-shortened game last weekend. The Bearcats will face an even more difficult opponent this Saturday as they travel to Tampa Bay to tank on the number 18th ranked USF Bulls. That game can be found on ESPNU with a 7.30 kickoff. The Ohio State Buckeyes improved to 5-1 last Saturday with a 62-14 victory over the Maryland Terrapins at home. The Ohio State defense had an impressive showing with one of Maryland's touchdowns coming off of a kickoff return for 100 yards and then another touchdown coming late in the fourth quarter when the second and third string defensive players were in. Overall, the Buckeyes defense only allowed the Terrapins to accumulate 66 yards on offense. This Saturday, Ohio State has another night game as they travel to Lincoln to take on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. That game can be found tomorrow night at 7.30 on FS1. In other college football news, two top 10 teams fell last weekend to unranked opponents. The Oklahoma Sooners lost to the unranked 2-2 two two Iowa State Cyclones last Saturday in Norman. Later in the evening, the Michigan Wolverines lost to their in-state rival, the Michigan State Spartans, 14-10 at home in the Big House. The Cincinnati Bearcats are 2-3 after a 20-16 win against the Buffalo Bills last Sunday. Sunday, the Bengals have a bye, but next weekend will travel to Pittsburgh to take on the dreaded Steelers. In other NFL news, Former New Orleans Saints running back Adrian Peterson was traded to the Arizona Cardinals earlier this week. The Columbus Blue Jackets lost to the Chicago Blackhawks last Saturday, but then rebounded last Tuesday with a 2-1 overtime win in Carolina against the Hurricanes. The next Blue Jackets game is tonight at home against the New York Rangers with the puck dropping at 7 p.m. on NHL Network. This week, we will be highlighting the Las Vegas Golden Knights, the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Houston Astros. The Golden Knights are currently 3-0 and are the only NHL expansion team in history to have an undefeated record in their first season. The Kansas City Chiefs are still the only undefeated team in the NFL. The Kansas City Chiefs are still undefeated and are the only undefeated team in the NFL right now. And the Houston Astros defeated the Boston Red Sox to move on to the ACLS to play the New York Yankees. This has been Savannah Dura with Sports on GNN. Hello, Goshen News Network. I'm Angel Minkas, and I'm here to bring you with a special segment for Halloween. Today we'll be talking about real life things that are actually really terrifying. Today we'll be talking about the death of Elisa Lamb. The video starts off with Elise in the elevator. She is very hesitant and when she reaches her floor, she hesitantly leaves the elevator, staying very close to the walls and unsure of where to go. After this, she goes missing for days. In the hotel she was staying at, people started to notice that the water tasted weird which you thought would be normal, because it's a hotel, usually they don't have the best quality of water. And the water is dark, it, is, it has a weird taste to it. And days after, they find her dead body in the water tank on top of the hotel. Mm -hmm. To this day, people still don't know how she got there or what happened to cause her to do that. Theories have speculated that she was possessed or that she was being tracked down by somebody. Either way, we still don't know. 